Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor of Brian Fast Life Pro, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you exactly how to slow down waving terrain, you know, like the ones you see next to my character, for the SUS V10.2 Preview and Ultra. Anyway, let's move to our desktop. So that we can mess with the code in the shader, make sure you have the SUS unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and I know that's a lot of files, just stick with me. Locate gbuffers underscore terrain.vsh and open it up. Using Notepad++, I want you to find line 52. For slowing down the waviness of the terrain, all you need to do is apply a lower number to the value. So for my use, when I actually leave the waving terrain on, I'd always go with the slowest movement number, which in this case would be 0.1f. What this means is now the waviness will wave at a tenth of its original speed. If you'd like to speed up the movement of the terrain, you can as well. It's as easy as just applying a higher number, or which you can test out on your own. Alright, let's move back into Minecraft. As you can see in the real-time footage, the terrain is definitely moving much slower, so enjoy this. But there's one thing I really want to make clear. We've slowed the movement of the terrain, but the movement of the shadows are not connected. So, in effect, you have slowed terrain, but normal shadows. For those who'd like to slow down the shadows, you're in luck, because after many hours of testing, I figured out how it could be done. So when I'm able to get the next tutorial out, I'll be adding an annotation to that video. If this tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!